Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Argos Zenith and a player I am going to call Green here on Lost Temple. I can't read Korean, I can probably ask one of you guys who can read Korean to translate that for me. This looks like this was some sort of placement match of some sort. Argos didn't give me that many details, but he did give me the replay and um, saying that it, it was a fairly decent replay. Argos is probably one of the better Zerg macro players I've seen. His micro, however, needs to improve a little bit more, but I really enjoy his macro play. We'll see if Argos Zenith does his typical ultra -lisk end against Terran here on Lost Temple. Here we have Argo Zenith now opening up with what to be what I expect to be an extractor trick. No, is it going to be the extractor trick? No, just an early gas with um hmm not 100% sure yet if it's if he's going to go for the extractor trick or not. There is that second extractor and then is it going to cancel? Yeah, extractor trick now 12 over 10 food. Back over here, the green Terran player is setting up a standard 10 supply depot. Most likely going to follow it up with a fifth or a 13 racks and we'll go, or a 12 racks and we'll go from there. So should be a pretty interesting game. We already see the Overlord did get sight of this um, one command center. I don't know if the command center was able to get sight back on onto that Overlord. Most likely not. Over here, interesting placement on this building from this from this barracks. It looks like though he wants to throw down another um, uh, the tech lab here and then be able to throw in a, a supply depot here to finish off this wall. And now in comes this drone. So very nicely done. Argo Zenith is playing a little bit of... I guess of a mind game still sending in the drone even though he knew exactly where his opponent was. So that's that's a pretty interesting strategy. We'll see if the SCV scouts in the wrong direction when trying to figure this all out. Now this overlord most likely going to try to reposition itself. No, not going to reposition itself here. So that's a little bit curious. Just um, just flying around very very slowly as this SCV now starting to move out. Perhaps going to yeah, going to go ahead and scout out in this direction and he will be scouting in the wrong direction as this drone still running wild through this base you already see the green terran player going for a heavy heavy gas build now upgrading to an orbital command so that upgrading to an or orbital command will give him that those early mules and now we have a tech lab thrown down so tech lab here most likely another supply depot there to finish off this wall in so i like this placement it's a pretty interesting placement as we also have the reapers with nitro packs okay so reapers with nitro packs being opened up instead of the standard marine or marauder or wall in so this is going to be a very interesting build indeed as we do already have a uh, canceling getting that 19 over 18 food so argo zenith able to train up that one queen and now we'll be able to get that queen out a little bit earlier now the problem is going to be that reaper with that nitro pack can really just play a game of chicken with those um, queens those queens um, only have a range of three compared to the range of 4.5 on a reaper and that reaper as long as it dances around on the edge of a creep trying to challenge that queen that um, reaper will be able to take it down over here we have these overlords dancing in the air just um, getting a little bit confused on top of all of this here but now going to see this second reaper and as soon as he sees two reapers two reapers is definitely something to be worried about as those reapers are now moving out we do have zerglings sitting here surprised that those zerglings aren't trying to wait for this wait for these reapers off in this position and now the reaper is going to be able to jump up and do we have the metabolic boost we do have the metabolic boost queen now coming out to do a little bit of an engagement going to turn around you can see that queen taking some damage they're trying to and uh, trying to fight on that creep as long as that possible but the reapers now have that additional movement speed so that queen is going to have a little bit of an issue trying to fight. Now those reapers are going to move around to the top side. Going to be able to pick off a lot of those zerglings. So three zerglings already down. And really, really brilliant queen. Um, sorry, really, really brilliant reaper micro. Now laying down a creep tumor. No, not laying down a creep tumor. Really should suspect an early creep tumor to come in here. Queen's now coming in. Reapers trying to get within range. And now a bunker coming down. So yeah, that's going to be really bad news. Zerglings trying to go out to engage. Are those reapers going to be able to come off yet? Be able to jump back down. That metabolic boost restart in time by Argos Zenith. So once again, nicely done here. Overlord now being um, up in the air and we should have, what, five Reapers. So these Reapers may continue to try to come back for more damage. And that is a potential strategy as those Reapers. Um, I have heard about the Koreans going for a five or ten Reaper build and then just pressuring with these Reapers. So yes, this is a this is not a new strategy. This is popular on the Korean servers. And now you see these Reapers continue to move around here. So taking a look at the unit losses, one unit lost so far for the Green Terran player. Meanwhile, we now have 
four Reapers moving in, and those Reapers, will they be able to shoot and take down some of those Zerglings? Yeah, able to pick off some of those units very, very easily, and now going to come back around here, perhaps deny the gas. That's going to be a, a really big issue as those Reapers now coming in. Are those Reapers going to be able to shoot down more Zerglings? Yes, continuing just focusing down those units. Reapers pulling back, able to take down a lot of those Zerglings, and now Roaches are in play. Roaches, just a bane of Reapers. Reapers now being forced to pull back, but those Roaches move very, very slowly. 2.25, not even a movement speed of 3, and one Reaper going um, to his death there. Down it goes, for some reason, getting a little bit out of position. The Reapers do have a little bit more range than those Roaches, but it's going to be very, very difficult to try to kite um, a, a Reaper, to try to kite a Roach, and Argo Zenith looks as though he is going to be able to handle this whole entire early aggression with these Reapers, so very nicely done, but now those Reapers using that cliff on the north side of this expansion over here, trying to just constantly jump up and down. There is an Overlord now moving over, but that Reaper has finally been taken down. Taking a look at the production tab, we have Siege Tech now being researched, Combat Shields, Stim Packs, Marauders, and a Siege Tank, and this is all a very, very gas-heavy strategy, and somehow um, we already see Green still sitting at 200 gas. So he's now sitting at 200 gas, now throwing down a Starport, getting a factory. Perhaps we're going to see a drop. Perhaps we're going to see some Banshees. As uh, Argo Zenith was forced to invest a lot into these Roaches, five Roaches down here, and then three Roaches up here. So that's eight Roaches. That's 200 gas th um, that isn't going to be mutilous or hydroless. So we'll see how this really works out. Hyd roaches, as long as he tries to get the movement upgrade on those Roaches, will be able to um, you know, just will be able to press forward, and this is going to be a, a decent maneuver. We'll see if Argo Zenith decides to continue to produce roaches or try to change up his tech a little bit more. I don't see any evolution chambers yet either, so and no evolution chambers means no detection otherwise than the overseers. And now that we have a starport throwing down a reactor, it doesn't even matter as the reactor is most likely going to be Vikings and Medivacs. A third barracks now being thrown down, and this is a lot of production buildings off of one base. You see one factory, two, three barracks and one starport with a reactor at some point um, green really needs to take his expansion he's really limiting himself on minerals here and even though he is taking a look at the harvester count he is getting about seven to eight hundred minerals a minute and throwing down some missile turrets as well he really needs to get an expansion up otherwise he's going to be really far behind economically speaking you can see 34 harvesters for argo zenith and more importantly there's more mineral patches to harvest from no gas yet though production wise we still do not see anything for tier two just more queens being trained as an overseer quickly getting taken down and yeah down goes that one over down goes one changeling as a missile turret comes into play so that overseer was able to get in a little bit of sight um, I know that's a very very expensive scout but what he really wanted to do is he wanted to see what was happening inside Green's base. He saw the additional racks that now is throwing down a reactor. I don't think the reactor was there in time. And now he sees, I believe he saw the starport. Did he see that starport? Um, yeah, he did see that starport with that reactor as well. So he knows it's going to be more of an infantry play. We'll see how Argos counters this, whether he's going to go for inf infestation pit to get fungal growth. That'd probably be my guess as fungal growth and banelings do such a large number on top of any of those units. And now a missile turret coming into play may be able to shoot down that over Overlord, Overlord down to nine hit points and able to barely escape there. So um, I don't know. And Argo Zenith knowing the exact timing on how long it takes for an Overlord to fly away from a missile turret or just at luck. I think it is luck in this particular situation. Now Green taking this expansion here. His army is much stronger, so he will be able to defend this choke point very easily against any early aggression. Siege tanks, Marauders, Marines now moving out. I do not see the Medivacs as there's an Overlord getting shot down over here. So Argo Zenith really sad sacrificing a lot of these overlords there is one overlord over here as well gathering sight here and now there is a, now there is another drop onto the high ledge over here so siege tanks with the marines ledging Argo Zenith, we do have the infestation pit, and production-wise, we have one infester and 22 Zerglings being produced. But this is going to be a very, very difficult fight, as there is no way to really um, come back up. Now the spine crawler is coming in. Spine crawler now going to get taken down over here. We do have one spine crawler on this high ground, and Siege Tanks may be able to start blasting away at this um, spine crawler over here. Roaches and Zerglings sitting over here as these units are now pushing up. Are they going to be able to Roaches? Are they going to be able to shoot at that one Siege Tank? The Siege Tank just out of range, I believe. Yeah, just barely out of range only one roach at a time and that is not a good sign as green is now slowly pressing in with a very very dominant army 
production wise we do not we have the ventral sacks now coming in queens now trying to come up and queens able to barely finish off this um, harassment to the north one queen battling out with one marine over here siege tanks now and um, pushing through roaches who have cleared out the, the gold rocks over here but the marines and the marauders have finished them off zerglings however catching siege tanks uh, um, out of position with no marine marauder support and those siege tanks have been taken down and that is going to be a much more difficult fight but we do have the medevacs and the marines and the marauders now in the cargo bay of those medevacs are they going to be dropped here if they are dropped this is going to be a very very interesting fight as we now have a queen coming in spying crawler here one queen now going to most likely get taken down as now there is sight onto this high ground infester are we going to get a neural um, fungal growth yeah fungal growth hitting off all on these units and now that's a really really bad sign for um, a really really um, nice positioning as there's also a spine crawler and um, picking off units over here roach is continuing to battle back and forth marauders and marines trying to fight we do have one queen sitting over here and um, trying to use transfusion to um, keep this fight going even longer another queen fighting again another transfusion nicely done so keeping these queens alive with transfusion another transfusion should be coming into play another elevator drop as the siege tanks tries to continue to press in with more units roaches pushing through now roaches however falling to those marauders very very easily concussive shells and no movement speed upgrade so more roaches now being produced are those marines going to be able to be enough no marauders not enough either too many queens and this whole entire army it is on this ledge has been pretty much destroyed but more units may be elevator dropped onto this high ground over here perhaps pick up another one no we should probably see the terran player try to ledge one more time he can ledge along the north side here and then slowly push his way through taking down some of these queens but instead gonna go ahead and retreat and try to regather his forces harvester wise we see and um, we see a very very low mining over here as now we see some transferring um some SCVs. the harvester count um down to 27 so so it looks as though some roaches or, or some of those units were able to get them taken down. I would need to watch the minimap even further as these siege tanks continue to push through. Marines and marauders now going at this um, S drone line. And the drone line now taking damage as well. Ventral sacks. So there's roaches perhaps going to do some sort of drop onto this here. And now roaches dropping into those um, poor, poor marines. And now are we going to get more drop? No, roaches just pushing through. And going to simply destroy all of these units here. Medivac's not even going back to pick up those marines. So leaving them to die. We do have 10 roaches sitting here. And Argos and, and back over here we still see we see an orbital command no a command center not upgrading to an orbital command training up more scvs trying to get more and more minerals having an additional two mule call downs here so green really um, almost depleting his whole entire main mineral source before trying to move out back over here we now see a lot of zerglings queens and we have burrow being researched and reconstitution also so those roaches will be able to move much more quickly infesters as well as an additional hatchery so another hatchery being placed down here so another hatchery being placed down here um normally i would suspect a hatchery to be placed down over here since but it looks as though argo zenith just wants the additional production medevacs being forced to pull back as there's an army of roaches ready to take down those marauders and those marines gonna go ahead and most likely drop some of those units there's also some siege tanks in here and we'll see what green is going to be doing with this army there is the zonaga watchtower being activated by the zergling so and the green player or Argo Zenith does know exactly what green's up to and what he's what's happening we also see a couple of um, zerglings moving now and we're gonna see a drone trying to set up a hatchery over here and another hatchery over here so Argo Zenith expanding into two locations at once are these road are these overlords gonna be enough to deal any sort of serious damage as the siege tanks and marauders quickly take down that hatchery over there so we do have a large number of, of overlords now moving out across the map and I guess this is more of a defensive posture no now gonna move back in and try to do it out of position try to do it out of sight of those of this one missile turret gonna get barely a sight of it as these overlords are now in the base and this is gonna be very very bad news as they're sieging the main army force is sitting over here one hatchery gonna get taken down but Roach is now running rampant through um, the base of the green Terran player and green now in a little bit of trouble as these um, no he's gonna be fine as there's as there's medevacs, marauders, siege tanks sitting over here. One medevac should probably be mo moved over here. Back over here, it looks as though green is picking up his units and does not want to continue any any of this aggression as this hatchery has already been taken down. Perhaps he wants to take down this uh, infestation pit. Stay tuned for part two of this replay between Argo Zenith and green here on Lost Temple.